Hi, Cherry. Hi, Professor. Is everything all right? You look awful. I'm good, Professor. It's my grandmother. She's very unwell and had to be put on a lots of pills. Oh my God! What happened to her? I'm not sure, but when I asked my mom, all she said was that Grandma has a lot of pain in her knees. Hmm. Old age. Her joints must have become weak. Joints? What are these joints, Professor? Joints are where the bones. Uh, uh, uh oh, uh, we almost forgot, Cherry. What, Professor? Our friends watching us, Cherry. Sorry, kids. As usual, my forgetfulness got the better of me. But hey, we are yet to begin. So, hi, I am Dr. Oxygen, and this is my beautiful assistant, Cherry. We were talking about joints in our body. Now, kids, imagine what would it be like if we couldn't move or bend at all? We would be stuck, Professor. Exactly. But thank God. Our body is designed in such a way that these movements come to us naturally. Today, Science for Juniors will educate us exactly on this: the mechanism of our body movements. So, are you ready? The sci-fi ride is about to begin. Let's begin the module with a scenario inside a clinic. Ankita is sitting with her mother at the doctor's clinic. She fell over and hurt her knee while trying to walk in her mother's heels. The doctor tells Ankita that she has not broken any bones but does have a sprain. Do you know what a sprain is? Let's find out about this in the module on human body and its movements where we learn what joints are and about the different types of joints in the human body the doctor has advised ankita to rest and not move her leg too much the doctor has explained that ankita has hurt her knee joint but what is a joint a joint is a place where two bones are joined together now look at your body can you list all the places where there are joints the skull the neck shoulder elbow wrist pelvis knee and ankle are places with joints all the different things we can do every day such as running cycling lifting and jumping are because of joints wow that means without joints movement would be impossible now ankita is wondering she can rotate her shoulder in all directions but not her neck why is this well it's because the type of joint at shoulder and neck are different and allow different levels of rotation let's find out more there are four types of joints in our body first let's understand the ball and socket joint this is at the place where our shoulder meets our arm this is so called because the arm ends in a ball like structure which goes into a hole in the shoulder which we are calling a socket this joint allows you to swing your arm and helps you when you lift something now let's talk about the hinge joint this is present at both elbows and both knees a hinge joint works like a door hinge since it only allows back and forth movement this joint allows you to do push ups next let's talk about the pivotal joint this is present where the neck meets the head this joint allows upward and downward as well as left and right movement the last joint we will discuss is the fixed joint this is present in our head the various bones that make up the head are joined and cannot move. This is to protect the brain from injury. So grandma's hinge joint is troubling her? Maybe Cherry, only a doctor is the one who can check and confirm it. I know what to do now. What are you doing Cherry? 
I am praying to the fairies that look after us, Professor. If I pray, they will heal Grandma as well. Oh, I love your innocence, Cherry. Your Grandma will be fine. <laughs> Thank you, Professor. Talking about the joint pains, there is a lot more you should know. Let's get back to our sci-fi ride to learn about it. Apart from injury, as in the case of Ankita, sometimes things can go wrong with joints because of illness. For example, arthritis is a disorder that leads to pain and stiffness in joints. There are over 100 kinds of arthritis that can affect both the young and the old. Arthritis can last for a lifetime. Exercise, a balanced diet, avoiding injuries and getting plenty of rest will help in keeping joints healthy and preventing arthritis. Now let's answer the question raised at the beginning of this module. Do you know what a sprain is? You now know that two bones meet or connect at a joint. But what makes these bones stay connected? Bones stay connected through ligaments, which are short bands of tough, fibrous tissue. When you injure a ligament, it is called a sprain. Is sprain very painful, Professor? Well, sometimes it is, Jerry. My grandma was in pain, so maybe she has a sprain in her knee. What do you think, Professor? Maybe, Jerry, but again, only the doctor can tell. Did he tie a crepe bandage around her knee? No, no bandage, Professor. Well, then it is unlikely that it's a sprain. But you know what? I think you are worrying way too much, Jerry. Let me divert your mind with this experiment that Science for Juniors has arranged for us. Shall we? Okay. Now let's do an activity in the lab to find out how joints function. Take a pipe cleaner and slide it into a plastic straw. Now try and bend the pipe cleaner in half. It's hard to bend the straw. Now remove the pipe cleaner. Cut the straw in half from the center and slide both pieces over the pipe cleaner so that they meet at the middle. Now try bending the pipe cleaner again. This time it's much more flexible and easier to bend. This is because you just created a joint or a meeting point between the two pieces of straw, allowing a greater range of movement. So, this is how a joint works. Isn't it amazing kids? A simple concept that allows for so much mobility. So, how many of these joints do we have in our body, Professor? Well, you all will be surprised to hear the answer. Do you know? From our head to our toes, there are about 230 movable and semi-movable joints that make up the human body. Wow! Can you believe the number? These joints provide us mobility with the ball and socket joints, such as hip and shoulder joints, being the most mobile joints of them all. Now we just learnt that all bones in our body are connected to each other but there is one that's not. It's called the hyoid bone. This horseshoe shaped bone present in the throat is the only bone in our body without a joint. Talking about bones, do you know what these bones are made of? Well, now you do. Bones are made of proteins, minerals and vitamins and about one-fifth of each bone contains water. Amazing! Well kids, human body has many more facts like this that will surprise you. Tell us more Professor. Well, since we are talking about bones, our skull alone is made of 29 different types of bones. Really? Really! And beneath this skull is our brain that helps store all that we have learned today. Come, let's refresh it with a quick recap. Shall we kids? Absolutely! In this module, 
We have learnt the following. A joint is a place where two bones are joined together. The ball and socket joint is where the shoulder meets the arm. It allows movement in all possible directions. Hinge joints are in elbows and knees. They allow only back and forth movement. The pivotal joint is where the head meets the neck. It allows movement in forward, backward and left-right directions. And finally, the fixed joint is present in the skull. The bones that make up this joint cannot move. That's why they are called fixed. Well kids, with the recap complete, I think it's time for you guys to go and exercise your joints. I don't want to exercise. I meant it's wrap up time. Time when you all can go out and play. Oh dad, yes yes we need to exercise. <laughs> so kids, it's time to say goodbye. But I hope you enjoyed this sci-fi ride and we'll be back again same time, same place for another exciting ride with Science for Juniors. Till then, play safe and be good.